Should you cost average in your investment stock drops? Should you put more money into it? Now, I've written about this, and uh, it's actually a behavioral psychology problem. When I used to lecture on behavioral finance at uh, Corpus Christi College, Oxford, about 25 odd years ago, uh, uh, I would look at the research of Daniel Kahneman, who went on to win the Nobel Prize in Economics, and I explained why you wouldn't and shouldn't uh, want to add money to a losing stock just because it's dropped. Now, there are several reasons. Uh, uh, psychological, economic, and mathematical. So let's go into them. Number one, uh, there is no column on all the factors which influence a future stock prices move. There isn't a column which says Alpesh Patel put money into it and it's dropped. Therefore, this would make a stock more likely to arise in the future. In other words, it's not causative what you own. So the fact that you're just adding more to it because the price has dropped, either it's because you own it and you're thinking that's the reason, that's not a good enough reason. So maybe there is a valuation reason for it. Now, if there's a valuation reason for it, then you should be looking at it independently of having had a loss. You should just look at it on the basis that, oh, this stock is a good purchase. Would I buy more of it now if I didn't already own it? So get rid of the endowment effect bias, which is I've got some regret. I've been endowed with this loss. Therefore, I'm going to buy more so that I can average the cost down and I I'm less likely to suffer a loss. The loss aversion bias also is playing on your mind and you don't want to suffer a loss. So you've got to avoid those psychological traps. That's not, again, a reason to buy it unless it is objectively overviewed. Forget what you already own and you say, yeah, I would buy this today. Now, most people find that difficult to do. <coughs> There's another reason you, sh <coughs> Excuse me, you shouldn't add into a um, losing stock, which is mathematics. Let's say it worked out for you. Dollar cost averaged the price down. It went down 10%, 20, 30, 40. You just kept buying, kept buying until all you needed was for it to move up one cent and you'd break even. Now, in theory, therefore, if you iterate that um, to the nth degree, it's a bit like the Martingale strategy. If you don't know it, go have a look. And there's a great book called Why Smart People Make Dumb Money Mistakes, which looks at all of these psychological problems that people have with investing. You won't have enough money in the world. If you had all the money in the world, your strategy would work. Always add to losing positions, okay? Uh, 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 the problem becomes that, let's say it worked once, then it's a bit like going in the casino and put it on red. If it worked once, the rational thing to do is keep doing it. What happens? You can only leave when you lose. So it's one of those strategies which iterates to zero. Whereas you want a strategy which could iterate with some potential to scalability to the upside. Okay, so mathematically, statistically, it doesn't make sense either, except if you get very lucky on the one occasion. So what's dollar cost averaging then? Dollar cost averaging is where you've got a certain allocation, say $10,000 for a stock. You've put 3000 in this month, a month goes by, you've got to put 3000 in again. You're not averaging down, you're not averaging your cost down. And the problem is, there is so much drivel on social media from people who don't know what they're talking about, haven't looked at the academic research, haven't looked at the statistics or the mathematics. Listen, I've only got the maths prize up to A level at school, so um, and I've got a degree in economics, so I can't say that I'm a quant. Um, but what I can say is mathematics, I can understand enough for finance. Um, so bottom line, yeah, don't add to your losing positions, as I say, unless in an objective way, like Warren Buffett will say, I'm glad when my good quality companies drop in price because I can buy more because he knows even if I didn't own it, I would own more. Um, that's the occasion. Or if you've already predetermined you're going to dollar cost average because that is the strategy and it's not a bad strategy, you would keep adding to it. Okay, so hopefully that helped you all. Please uh, have a look at alpishpatel.com forward slash links if you want to learn more uh, and avoid uh, mistakes in your pension and mistakes in your investing. Thank you very much.